Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and as the title of this video suggests, I will be going through math questions with you guys. More specifically, drug calculation questions that are catered towards those who will be going for their nursing interview very shortly. So in this video, first I'm going to start off with simple dosage calculations and then I'm going to move on to questions that look more at the IV infusion rates. If you would like more complex questions or questions that have more steps to them, make sure you check out my website, mariaavi.com. If you are interested in more information on the actual interview process, I do have a 30 minute video completely dedicated towards that. So if you haven't already watched it, make sure you check it out. The comment section is just full with people saying how useful that video was. So let's start this video. Before we go anywhere, we need to know how to calculate anything from a ton all the way through to a nanogram. From memory, we know that to get from a ton to a kilogram, you times by a thousand. To get from a kilogram to a gram, you also multiply by a thousand. To go from a gram to a milligram, you do the same. From a milligram to a microgram, you do the same. And from a microgram to a nanogram, you do the same. And if you want to work your way back up the chart from a nanogram all the way through it, all the way through to a ton, you know that you need to divide by a thousand. If you do not know this table off by heart, make sure you know this table off by heart before you go into your maths interview or before you even start your whole nursing interview process. I would suggest before starting your maths paper, make sure you write this down in the small corner at the top or at the bottom or anywhere on the page on the exam paper. That way, if at any point during the maths test that you get flustered, you always have this to refer back to. The first question is, a patient has been prescribed 80 milligrams of drug X orally. The stock dose available is 10 milligrams. How many tablets does he need? Automatically, we know that the patient will need eight tablets. Quick mental maths will tell us eight tablets. Simple, no brainer. However, there is a formula that I use that I know will get me the correct answer every single time. And the formula is what has been prescribed divided by the dose available multiply by what it is in. I'll say that again. What has been prescribed divided by the dose available multiplied by what it is in. So we know the patient has been prescribed 80 milligrams divided by the dose available. That's 10 milligrams because we know that the stock dose available is 10 milligrams. We will also assume that it is 10 milligrams per tablet. So we will divide. So we will multiply that by one. So the answer is 80 divided by 10 milligrams multiplied by one. And that would give us eight tablets. The next question Drug X, 400 micrograms is prescribed. The ampule of the drug is 250 micrograms per mil. How many does he need? What this question basically means is that there is 250 micrograms per mil of every drug. And we need to make sure we give the patient 400 micrograms. So how many mils do we give? We refer back to the same formula. What has been prescribed divided by the dose available multiplied by what it is in. So we would do 400 micrograms because that has been prescribed. We divide it by 250 because that is the stock dose available. We would then times that by one. We would multiply it by one because there is 250 micrograms of the drug available per one mil. That would give us 1.6 mils. So we need to give the patient 1.6 mils in order for him to have the full 400 microgram dose. Next question is, the patient is prescribed 500 milligrams of drug X in liquid form. The mixture comes as 1.2 grams in 10 mils. How many mils does a patient need? Again, this question is basically asking us, how many mils does a patient need in order to receive the full 500 milligrams? So what we would do is use the same formula, what has been prescribed divided by the dose available, multiplied by what it is in. So the patient has been prescribed 500 milligrams we would divide it by the dose available so that would be divided by 1.25 grams we would then multiply it by what it is in as in what is the stock dose available in 1.25 grams is in every 10 mils so we would divide that by 10 that would give us the answer of 4,000 mils can anyone spot the error here if we were to give this as our final answer? So basically the error is we need to make sure that the drug prescribed and the dose available are in the same unit. So we can see 500 milligrams has been prescribed. However, the stock dose available is in grams. We need to make sure they're the same units of measurement. At this point, before I even got to this point, what I would have done was converted the milligrams into grams. So if we refer 
back to this chart over here, we know off by heart, hopefully before you start the nursing interview, make sure you remember this. We know that to go from milligrams all the way back to grams, we need to divide by a thousand. So I would completely cross that out and I would do 500 milligrams divided by a thousand. Divide by a thousand, you basically just move it three decimal points. So that would be one, two, three. So that would be 0 0.5 grams. So now we know this is in grams and the stock dose available is in grams. So let's go back to the formula. What has been prescribed divided by the dose available multiplied by what it is in. So 500 milligrams has been prescribed. This is the equivalent of 0 0.5 grams. So we will do 0 0.5 grams divided by 1.25 grams, which is the dose available. And we would then multiply it by 10 because 1.25 grams is available in 10 mils. This would give us the answer of 4 mils. Again, you need to make sure that you understand this table. You know it off by heart and you know the rational. To get from kilograms to grams, you multiply by 1,000, so on and so on. From micrograms to milligrams, you divide by 1,000. Milligrams to grams, you divide by 1,000, so on and so on. So make sure you know this table off by heart. I will leave links in the description box below where you're able to find conversion tables very similar to the one that I have used for this video. The patient is prescribed 670,000 micrograms of drug X. The dose available is 2 grams per 4 mils. How many mils of drug X does the patient need? So what we would do is use the same formula, what has been prescribed divided by the dose available multiplied by what it is in. But before we go anywhere, we need to convert the 670,000 micrograms into grams. Referring back to our table, we know that to convert from micrograms to grams, we need to convert, we need to divide the value by 1,000 to get to milligrams, and then we need to divide the value again by 1,000 to get to grams. So that would be... 670,000 divided by 1,000 or 670 mcg micrograms divided by 1,000 would give us 670 milligrams. To get from milligrams to grams, we will divide that by 1,000 again. 670 milligrams divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.67 grams so now we are at the grams and I do want to add a very quick tip or a very quick point here because you're converting from micrograms to grams you have to divide by a thousand and then divide by a thousand again very often I see people make the mistake of thinking oh because I need to divide by a thousand twice then I'm just going to divide the 670,000 by 2,000 rather than doing it by 1,000 and then 1,000 again. If you try and take that shortcut and just do it by 2,000, you will get an answer that is completely incorrect. If you do want an answer that will take you, or if you do want a value that will take you directly from micrograms to grams or directly from, I don't know, nanograms all the way into tons, then you have to use um, 1,000 to the power of 1 or to the power of 2 or to the power of 3. If you're not, you know, confident with using numbers to the power of whatever, then just go the simpler route and divide the micrograms to milligrams by a thousand and then go from milligrams to grams by dividing by another thousand. Again, if you are confident with using powers, use powers. If not, then now just take the simpler route. For the sake of making this very easy to understand, I'm just going to take the simple route like I've done. So we've gone from milligrams, we've gone from micrograms to milligrams and then milligrams to grams. So we do the same formula that we've used in question one, two, and three. What has been prescribed divided by the dose available multiplied by what it is in. 670,000 micrograms of the drug, which is equivalent to 0 0.67 grams, has been prescribed. So we do 0 0.67 grams. We would divide that by the stock dose available, which is 2 grams. We would multiply that by what the stock dose available is in. We know that there is 2 grams per every 4 mils we would multiply that by 4. That would give us the answer of 1.34 mils. So we will need to give the patient 1.34 mils in order for them to have the 670,000 micrograms. I should have said earlier, but all of these values are just completely random values. They don't represent any particular type of drug or anything. They're just completely random numbers 
just for the sake of this video. So let's go on to the next question. So the next question is, the patient has been prescribed 500 mils of fluids to be infused over eight hours. What is the hourly rate? So the patient has been prescribed 500 mils to be infused over eight hours. What is the hourly rate? Very quick way of doing this. Just do 500 divided by eight, and that would give you 62.5 mils. We've got the mils from there per hour. Got that hour from there. And that's the simple, simple calculation for this question. Next question. The patient is prescribed two litres over two days. What is the hourly rate in mils? So two litres over two days, we need to give them the hourly rate and the mils. So we need to convert two litres into mils. The conversion table that you use when calculating mass is it pretty much mirrors the one that you would use when you're calculating distance or when you're calculating volume of a liquid or volume of water. So to convert from two litres to mils, we would multiply by a hundred, by a thousand, sorry. So two multiplied by a thousand equals two thousand mils. Yeah. So two two litres multiplied by a thousand equals two thousand mils. And we know that there are forty eight hours in two days. So two days is equivalent to forty eight hours. So what we just do is 2,000 mils divided by 48, and that would give us the answer of 41.66 mils per hour. And that's basically the simple equation for that. And the last and final question is, patient is prescribed 800 mils over 45 minutes. What is the hourly rate? The patient is prescribed 800 mils, so we'd write 800 mils over 45 minutes what is the hourly rate in mils so how i would do this equation there are so many different ways of doing every single calculation i've shown you i'm just showing the way that i would do it in so 800 mils over 45 minutes and what is the hourly rate because we want to go from 45 minutes to an hour we need to calculate how many mils are delivered in 45 minutes so i just do 800 divided by 45 which would give us 17.77 mils, mils per minute. Got that minute from there. We know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So if we want to work out how many mils we will get per hour, we would just multiply 17.77 by 60. And that would give us 1,066.666 reoccurring mils per hour and that is the answer for that there we have it everything from dosage calculations right through to iv infusion calculations like i said at the beginning of my video if you are interested in more complex questions or questions that have more steps to them make sure you check out my website mariaabby.com and again if you would like to see question and answer responses make sure you check out my website mariaabby.com all the best with your nursing interview and i'll see you guys in my next video bye